Today I'm going to use brown chana as the main ingredient and make a very Gujarati style Parusian recipe and that is called chana dhokli nu shak. So let's start with making the dough for the dhokli. I have about 6 tablespoons of wheat flour, a very small pinch of turmeric powder, a small pinch of asafoetida, a small pinch of red chilli powder, also just a dash of salt. Half a teaspoon of oil. Just mix all these ingredients properly. Add a little bit of water. And make a normal roti dough. And this dough is ready. Dab it with a little bit of water so that it doesn't dry out. And cover it with a bowl. While the dough is resting, I'm going to move on with the recipe. So for that, I'm going to heat a teaspoon of ghee. Into the ghee, I'm going to add one teaspoon of ajwain or carom seeds. Next, a teaspoon of cumin seeds. One four teaspoon of asafoetida. I've soaked half a cup of brown chana for four hours and then pressure cooked it. Next, 1 4 teaspoon of haldi powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of chaat masala. Also, going to add 1 4 teaspoon of red chilli powder, 1 4 teaspoon of black salt, and half a teaspoon of cumin powder. 3 to 4 kokums. And around 1 and a half cup of water. Since this is a Gujarati style recipe, I'm going to add 3-4 small cubes of jaggery. But this is optional, so if you want, you can add some. And last, I'm going to add some salt. Mix everything properly. And now I'm going to add the other ingredient, that is the dhokli. I'm just going to knead the dough once again. I'm going to apply a little bit of oil on the board on my palms as well as on the bottom of this steel bowl. Just roll the dough with your palms. This is the thickness that I need and now just cut them into half inch pieces. Very quickly a slight roll on the board and press it with your steel bowl. Make sure both your surfaces are nicely oiled otherwise it's going to stick. This is the perfect thickness of the dhokli that I need. Keep it aside and let's continue making the rest of them. The dhoklis are ready and the chana mixture is simmering and I'm going to add these into the mix. Let these boil on high flame for at least 5 to 6 minutes. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of wheat flour. This will help in thickening the gravy. The water is almost dried out and the dhoklis are nicely cooked. This is ready and I'm going to turn off the flame. This is a staple in my house during Parushan days. I'm sure you must be having different variations of this. Do give this one a try and let me know how it turned out. See you next time. Bye-bye.